indicator name the trend on wala this indicator is uh, fairly easy to understand it is simply made up of the simple moving average along with the deviation so i will explain to you how this indicator works and how we can design and develop the algorithm using this indicator it is in included under the trend following indicator so it is listed on this uh, platform amongst this trend following block so trend envelope block and now we will head to the visual j4 export developed by the Dukas copy bank sa here you will find this indicator amongst the following indicators block of course yesterday we had seen the use of normalized average true range now in our today's session it is the turn of trend envelope so we will use uh, for a change we will use the on trade event as our start point to initialize the system any of the three of these start points can be chosen depending on your requirement and then we have already seen how these the start points differ from one another in key aspects now coming to this uh, indicator block we have to customize these uh, five input parameters depending on which we will get these uh, two output values the high band and the low band and uh, using those uh, output values we can trade and uh, see what is the underlying trend for the instrument of our choice and then depending on the conditions if the conditions look favorable if our requirements are fulfilled we can set the command to initialize the trade positions so coming to its uh, input parameter the first input is the uh, instrument instrument of your choice so it depends on uh, which instrument you want to work with whether you want to keep the euro usd or whether you want to keep uh, any other instrument so it's always uh, the choice you have to make and as long as the instrument is supported on this platform you can take it from all these listed instruments so that's the basic part now coming to the other parameter the period for candle now this is uh, going to be dependent as i have said in earlier stages also on your time horizon so basically what is your time horizon goes on to define this uh, second parameter and uh, to give you a fair idea i will have to head to the jforex platform where i will explain to you the intricacies and working of this uh, indicator so here i have plotted this uh, trend envelope indicator now this is the chart of euro usd on the hourly time frame and we are looking at uh, how to define this uh, candlestick suppose if you want to find the trading opportunities on the lower time frames like for intraday opportunities then in uh, those circumstances in those scenarios the time frames like 5 minute will be of greater use so here as you can see we have now plotted the trend envelope indicator on the 5 minutes of the euro usd so this will uh, follow the trend on the lower time frame whereas it has uh, other parameters as you can see the value one is 14 14 is the number of candles which we are taking into consideration while calculating these uh, indicators so in a nutshell you can say that last 14 candles of 5 minutes each of your usd are being taken into account and then comes the question of other two parameters and that is the shift shift is the look back period whether you want to access the current uh, output value or whether you want to retrieve the value back in time and uh, if you want to do that all you have to do is uh, change this shift value and depending on your requirement suppose if you want to say go back 40 minutes in 40 minutes back in time then given the fact that this uh, indicator block has been defined for 10 minutes each then all you have to do is take shift of four so if you go back four candles of 10 minutes each then you will have the output value 40 minutes back so that is how the system works so you have to use this shift value in conjunction with the time horizon of this uh, second parameter and then you will be able to access the output value for the trend envelope for that particular point of time time period as i said it is uh, the number of candles which will be taken into consideration and uh, if uh, you want to work with the default setting 
This is the default setup where the 14 uh, candlesticks of 10 minutes each are being taken into consideration while calculating the simple moving average based on which we are getting the output value for this string of Euler indicator. You can uh, always change these uh, values. For example, let us make this uh, 21 and you will see how this changes. So as you can see now, this plotting is being done on the 21 time period of 10 min 5 minutes each. So here you can see that the changes are pretty much visible. Again, if we suppose uh, extend the time horizon and say, for example, go for 40, then what happens is last 40 candles sticks of 5 minutes each for your USD will be taken into consideration. And uh, as a result of that, as a result of uh, larger numbers of uh, data points, we have more smoothing in this uh, plotting of this uh, indicator, the trend envelopes, and uh, that is apparent from this plotting which we have done for these uh, indicators chart on the Euro USD. So you have to see what is the combination which is likely, likely to give you the best possible signals for the underlying instrument, for the instrument of your choice and you have to customize it accordingly. There is no fixed value which you can uh, say that uh, this is uh, something which will uh, find you sure short success. All you have to do is uh, observe the historical plotting, observe the historical data points and uh, also do a lot of experimentation, see if it works on the historical data or not and then depending on that you will be able to come to the uh, setup, come to a combination which might go profitable enough or good enough to find the age in the market while trading. So that's how this uh, time period is chosen. Now coming to this uh, deviation, the deviation from the simple moving average is what defines this trend envelope. So when we add that deviation to the simple moving average, we get the upper band and when we deduct that deviation, then we get the lower band. So that's how these two bands are formed. And uh, we can change this uh, parameter also. For example, if you want to increase the deviation or decrease the deviation, both options are there. For example, we can make it 0 0.2 and now you can see that the plotting is a uh, lot different. The lower band has uh, disappeared. We have to rely on the higher band only. Again, suppose if you want to change it and make it uh, different or 3 or for example 5. Okay, so here it is. Now the plotting has uh, digressed from the charting and we have this uh, indicator being plotted at fairly large distance from the moving average as we have increased the deviation and as a result of that the plotting will be farther away from the moving average of the underlying instrument. So now again get it, uh, let's get it back to the default values. The point is that uh, these uh, input parameters are need to be uh, are going to be defined or are going to be customized as per our requirement. So there is no golden combination to start with. And then coming to the workings of this uh, indicator block. Now some of the common trading strategies which can be set or which can be defined using this uh, indicator is that whenever the cha trend changes from one side to other, we should uh, look for the opportunities on that side during the initial time horizon. So suppose for example here as you can see, earlier the trend envelope was uh, being plotted above this uh, price action and then here the course changes and we have this uh, change where the historical candle, the prior candle closes above this uh, 
high band of train envelope and subsequently the train changes and we see this continuation of the moves on the higher side. So one way to look at it is that whenever the train change happens from one side to another you initiate the trade in that direction. So that is one way to go about it. Other can be simply see what is the current trend and whenever the time comes, whenever the opportunity comes using other indicator or using different uh, entry formations you can look for the opportunity to trade in the direction of the trend. For example here if we say for example use stochastic or any other indicator somewhere here we might get any opportunity after this consolidation phase or somewhere here after this correction in this again uh, move on the higher side we might see that trade might be initiated by this as again stochastic or any other indicator and uh, given the fact that the price action is still above this low band we can indeed look for buying opportunities so you can use this indicator in conjunction with other indicators also and it will work just fine and it will give you the idea of what is the underlying trend for the instrument of your choice so we can uh, work with this uh, indicator in multiple formations in many ways all we have to do is uh, do bit of observations and uh, also once we are kind of confident that particular formation is likely to work you will have to test it using the historical test step and then you can uh, be confident if it is going to work or not now again let us head back to the video j for export so we have now seen how we can customize these uh, parameter, 5 input parameter depending on which you will have these uh, output values then two things also remain one is this uh, offer side as I have said earlier in earlier sessions also minor difference will arise simply because of the spread between the bid and the ask price and for this indicator the applied price does make a lot of difference as uh, this uh, indicator is based on the simple moving average of the underlying candlestick so whether you are working with the high value of the candlestick or the low value of the candlestick it will have uh, impact in its uh, final plotting so because of that we will see different uh, plots different charting for the different applied prices and that's why we have to pay attention to how we use the applied price and then with that we are coming to the end of this session i hope you have been able to understand the use of this uh, indicator and uh, you will try to figure out the combination which will help you in uh, trading profitably so if you have any query or any idea to share you can give me the feedback in the comment section and uh, of course do stay tuned for the further developments in the market subscribe to the channel see you tomorrow Goodbye.